Hey, my name is Justin Case, and look what arrived for me, my Helium Mobile Hotspot. So, let's set it up. Now, uh, I've never done a uh, install or unboxing video before, so this will be interesting. Uh, it does come with this uh, little card that says, scan the QR code to begin setting up your Helium Hotspot. Uh, I uh, have uh, actually gone, clicked on it, and we are now in on my phone, uh, the setup guide. So uh, let's just click on get started. And as it says, unbox the Helium Mobile Hotspot. So let's unbox this sucker. Uh, let's look at the box first. The box looks interesting. Um, the box does indicate everything that's inside. Has a few mounting tips. You can put it on upright on the surface, flat on the surface, or mounted on the wall. I'm pretty much going to do flat on the surface for now. Has some specifications. One of the notes here is the 2X integrated antenna. I know some of you want to switch out your antenna, so uh, maybe we can unscrew it and find out. I may not do it in this video, but uh, good to know. It's also PoE ready. Uh, shows what's included, but hey, let's just open it up and find out. So, uh, let's open the box. Let's see what's inside. Okay, we have a information pamphlet. That's pretty cool. Uh, yep, yep, yep. Get the app. Install the app. Good to know. Uh, here is the hotspot. It's good. Uh, one thing uh, I should note is that it does have connections on the back. One for power. One to connect uh, for power as well as internet. And then it also has one here to do a reset. So there are no connections for putting another antenna on. So I know some people are interested. We may take it apart, like I said, to get to that 2X antenna and find out what's going on inside, but probably not in this video or at this time. So next, let's see what else is in the box. We have screws and a plate to connect it uh, to the wall. We have our standard plug, which I will probably use. Uh, we have a uh, Cat5 cable. So I'm just going to toss that right now. We don't need that. And uh, we have what looks like other connectors possibly for the wall. I'm not going to worry about that. Like I said, we, we definitely going to need to plug it in. Uh, but uh, everything else I don't think we need at this point. So uh, let me at least run the plug, see if I can get to something to plug it in here. Okay, found a place to plug it in. Let's just plug it in. Well, what does the direction say? So it says attach one end to the LAN port into your router. So let's see here. I do have a cable ready to go, hopefully should work for this and attach the other end yep yep port closest to the power connection uh the other network port is covered and should not be used yeah we got that uh firmware upgrade is going to be needed process will take about three minutes and i'm just going to plug it in now do we have power does not look like we have power it's not a good sign. Just plugged it into the power. It says here, it'll take about three minutes during onboarding. The LEDs in front of the hotspot will cycle. You can tell the firmware is complete. Fine, download, install. Okay, well. Connect the power core to the power. Oh, there it's blinking. Okay, so it does it does take a few seconds for it to start blinking. So that's that's my bad. Uh, I'll leave it here for now to start blinking. Okay, uh, firmware, latest update. So we are going to wait here. During onboarding, the LED in front of the hotspot will cycle. You can tell that the firmware update is complete if the four lights on the hotspot are solid flashing and stay that way. So all four. So that is what we are waiting for next. So... I assume this means update or something. I assume this one here means it's having, it does have internet. So guess we're gonna wait. See how long this takes. Could take a while. Okay, and, and that did take about two minutes, uh, but we have all lights going. 
So now download and install the uh, Helium Builder app. And then four, select a wallet type. This is recommended, the Helium Mobile Wallet and is the easiest option for new builders. And then there's the Helium Wallet. Okay, and then five, sign into mobile. And then everything's just deployed. And then we got to register the hotspot. So I guess we need to download the app first. Now I did already download this. So let's just go to the Helium Mobile Builder and open it. Click on the wallet. I guess I logged in already and I have the wallet set up. So uh, sorry guys, you're gonna have to walk through the setup of your wallet yourself. I believe you just log in. Now I gotta register the hotspot. So I need to make sure that Wi-Fi is enabled on my phone. Yes, it is. Please keep the phone close to your Helium Mobile hotspot during the process. Go to the hotspot menu in the app and follow the instructions to add a hotspot. Okay, so let's uh, go to hotspots. And yeah, it's under deploy right here. And here is my Helium Mobile hotspot. Face your users. Hotspots create coverage from their front disk. Objects composed of metal and water may block or reflect signals. It's weird because the back said that I could lay it flat, but sure. Line of sight. Ceiling mounted hotspots usually have far less obstructions. Okay, that's why they want us to put it on the ceiling and use PoE. Or okay, mounted on a flat surface sideways. I will try this. See how that goes. So good, good to know. I just want to get this up and running. Yes, all four lights are on. It looks like it's repeating the whole thing that it said last time. Okay, request permission. I will allow while using app. We are deploying right here. Rewards will be monitored and verified, could be lower. Now I do want to later on switch it to a new location, but I just want to get it running here to verify. Scan the QR code on the hotspot. So okay. So uh There we go. Cool. See it connecting. Data is happening. Sour purple mouse. Let's register. And as it says, this can take up to 10 minutes. So we are going to wait and see what happens. Again, I don't plan to keep this in my house, but I think it's a great place to start. At least I know it's working. I assume like the other hotspots, I'm going to have to pay money to move it, but I uh, got to start somewhere. It is deployed and that's it. Yes, it knows where I am. Indoor, there it is. Uh, I wonder... Okay, so it's been about 20 hours and so far nothing. I've gotten no proof of coverage rewards. Now, I am someone who is used to instant gratification, so of course I checked Explorer, which shows that my device is inactive. I checked Planner, which doesn't show my device, although it does show the neighbors up there on the hill and I gotta ask myself why are they using an indoor miner when they have such a good vantage point to give access to all the people down here in the valley but uh, who knows I can't really explain why other people do what they do that being said though I am planning on getting an outdoor one and having it installed in the next week or two and then taking the indoor miner and once it's up and running and I know it's working properly uh, putting it somewhere where there is more foot traffic so I will definitely let you know one when the miner is up and running because it does say in the helium builder app that it is but like I said, everywhere else it's not, and I'm not getting rewards yet. So I will let you know in the description. I will put an update as to how long it took before the miner went online. Beyond that, I want to wish everybody a happy new year. I'm excited for 2024. I hope we all can mine some great cryptocurrency, make a lot of money. I got to uh, put on my roof uh, some other devices that I'm going to be testing out, like the GeoNet device and the Weather XM. I'm going to get the remote one and maybe put it somewhere up on this hill. I don't know. My neighbors might complain, so I still have to decide. This is a HOA, and 
you know how tough those are. But I hope again, you all have a great new year and I'll see you all in 2024.